so let me uh, just introduce myself. Um, some of you may know me, some of you might not. My name is Benjamin, I'm a DJ producer and I go by the name of Kid Massive. And for the last four years, I've been working with a lot of creative individuals to help people understand more about themselves and about what they do and how to grow as artists, but also as individual human beings to reach a point where you feel a lot more secure and safe about who you are and basically being able to help you map out some of the things that you would like to achieve in the future. Because the music industry, the creative industry, as we all know, is very fickle, it's very um, up and down. So it's important that we think um, logically, that we think um, emotionally, that we feel what we're doing rather than trying to second guess ourselves. And what I'm talking about today is actually something that I feel is necessary now. I've had, I've had so many people contact me about how to maintain focus, how to maintain a sense of calm, how to understand what's actually going on right now. And what I'm going to be talking about is simply just a um, selection of thoughts and ideas that perhaps might be useful for you to better understand the situation, to feel more calm about yourself, to be a bit more focused on the things that you would like to achieve and how it's possible given the situation. So I know that there are a lot of people right now who are feeling very isolated, um, they're feeling very alone, they're feeling very scared and given the situation I totally understand. Um, being isolated, being away from family, being away from your day-to-day -day average life, the things that you do on a daily basis is very, very difficult. It's not easy. And when all of a sudden we have our, our lives shifted, um, we have no power. Everything is just gone and we're not quite sure what to do. And this is about understanding some of the steps that you can take to create something within you that... Um, gives you a sense of grounding and makes you feel more calm. So what we need to understand is right now there is a massive sense of fear. There is a massive sense of the unknown. And the question here is, well, what is fear? Well, fear is exactly that. Fear is actually the fear of the unknown. We don't know what it is. We've never experienced it before. And the thought of something new is, is terrifying. Think about, you know, if you're, if, you're dri if you're taking a driver's license, the fear that you have before you get into the car and then how you feel afterwards. The fear is there because you're projecting what you think might happen into the future. And by the time you finish driving your driving lesson, you feel a lot more secure because you've done it. And you realize that maybe it wasn't as bad as you thought it was going to be. And living in a constant state of fear causes stress, it causes anxiety, it causes depression, it causes us to, to react, it causes us to feel um, our energies go down and we can't see because we, we are in a heightened sense of awareness constantly. And we're not thinking logically, we're not thinking straight. And this is exactly what's happening right now. So let me explain what I mean by this. So at the moment, we're all experiencing lockdown, quarantine, uh, restricted travel in one way or another. And yes, I'm afraid of this. I am fearful of this as well. Why? Well, because there's a shift in what I have done before to what I do now. And that shift has completely changed. And it's me coming to grips with that change that is what I'm fearful of. It's not the change itself. I don't have a problem with being by myself. I'm a music producer. I've spent 25 years being by myself all the time anyway. So for me, this isn't that difficult. This isn't that different. This isn't that new. However, it's the fact that the governments are now saying you cannot travel. You are not allowed to do this. You're not allowed to be around these people. You're not allowed to experience more than, you know, this, this is the, the, the size of the groups that you're allowed to be in. And that is what's causing a lot of people to, to panic and to feel isolated. Plus, the fact that we have um, a lot of the news, a lot of the focus is on worst case scenarios. I understand that people need to address
you hooked. This is how you return. This is how you buy newspapers. This is why you subscribe to all the blogs and the news channels, etc. Because news is designed to raise adrenaline. Think about this. So if there is a negative news story, you sit and you are completely focused on what's happening. You are completely, um, you detach yourself from everything else and you are simply just looking at what is happening. And you feel like a sense of, oh, oh my God, this is terrible, this is, this is really bad, something's going wrong, I, I don't know what to do, and blah, blah, blah. But what happens if they play a positive story? Well, you forget, you feel calm, you feel relaxed. Oh, okay, well, maybe it's not so bad. You carry on with your day. And there is no need for you to check back in to the news tomorrow. Why? Well, because everything's good, everything's fine. So that's why when you look at the news, when you read the news, when you study the news, the majority of stories out there are negative because they are designed to hook you up. So you tune in next time. So when you wake up, the first thing you do is you click your app and you read the news the first thing in the morning. That's what it's there for. And if the stories were predominantly positive, well, then you wouldn't check in because then you would think everything is fine. Everything is OK. So we have to remember, the news coverage right now serves two purposes. One, it serves to tell us what's going on. It's facts. This is what's happening with the situation. This is what's happening with the world. This is what's happening with travel. This is what's happening with the government. That makes complete sense. I agree with that. I, I would like to know what is happening. But, and this is where things take a different slant. And this is where now they're telling you, that this is going to happen, this is going to be, we are not going to run out of food, don't worry, and blah, blah, blah. There's constantly a negative stream of stories that are not factual, that are simply people's perspectives on what they think is going to happen. So there are a lot of experts that are giving their opinion, but these people aren't actually experts, they just have an opinion. So what we need to understand is the fear that's happening right now is based on an illogical um, reaction to the adrenaline that's being raised within our social media. And what we need to do now is we need to learn to accept the situation. Things are the way that they are. We can't change them. The virus is here. It's not going away. I can't travel. You can't travel. We can't, we can't meet our friends. We can't meet our family. This is just our reality right now. It's impossible to change it. But what's happening is people now are trying to, you know, revert back to their normal lives. But we have to remember the normal life that we've had before doesn't exist right now. It's done. It's finished. It's over. The current state of the world is this. This is what's happening. Restrictions, quarantine, no travel, health care, um, uh, social distancing and, you know, be aware of older people. This is the state of affairs right now. As soon as we can learn to accept that this is just how it is, this is simply just how life is, the sooner we can actually start focusing on the things that are important. And what's important? Moving forward, staying healthy, staying happy, protecting our loved ones, following the government, doing what is needed to curb what's happening. We need to accept the situation. Doesn't mean we like it. I'm not saying we have to like the situation. I don't like it. I'm a DJ and I'm not DJing. I don't like that. I love DJing. But I accept the situation. So therefore it doesn't become a problem. Would I prefer something else? Yes, of course. Everyone watching this would prefer that their life was like it was before. However, that's not the case. That's not what's happening. So the sooner we can learn to accept that it is what it is, the sooner we can start to focus on the things that are actually important. And we need to think logically. We need to sit down and look at the facts. The facts are this, 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 and this. This is what's happening. This and this and this and this is what I can do. Great, focus on that. What's happening now is many people are becoming emotional. And when you become emotional, you lose sense of what's actually happening because you are clouded 
by the sense of fear, anxiety, depression, anger. You can't see clearly. So now we need to look at the facts. The facts are, this is happening, this is happening, this is happening, this is happening. Okay, cool. What can I do to make sure that I can live by these rules for the next month or two months? It's very, very simple. Think logically. Don't think emotionally. Emotions attached to this will only lead you down a path where you will feel anxious and you will feel fear and you will feel uncomfortable with what's happening. So we need to learn to accept the situation because it simply is what it is. We can't change it. There's nothing you can do until the governments decide, right, the threat is over, we can now carry on. And we need to think logically. We need to look at the facts, not look at the fear mongering. We need to look at, well, this is what's happening, actually happening, not uh, this is what we think is going to happen. And what I mean by that is we need to focus on the present. Focus on today. Focus on right now. Reflect on the past. Go back every now and again, think about it and go, yeah, that was great. What can I learn? You know, what can I take from the past and bring into the present? And look to the future. So what I mean by that, imagine this. So right now I'm looking at, I'm looking at you, but I'm aware of my present, sorry, of my past, and I'm also aware of my future. But my focus is here and now. If I shift my focus and I only look at the past, that means I am not actually living in the present. It means that I am not doing anything here and now. If I am now looking at the future, again, I am trying to predict what I think might happen in the future. I'm not living today. The facts are simple. Restriction of movement, social distancing, and very limited contact with our loved ones. That's just a fact. That is the present. Focus on that right now. The past is done. It's over. Our lives a month ago, is not, it's not coming back. The future hasn't happened yet. What I mean by that is very simple. It's a prediction. We think we know what's going to happen, given all these models, but it's a guess. It's a guesswork at the very best. So, focus on the present. Think about what can you do today, right now, here and now. What can you do to make today better? The past is done. Ignore it. It's, it's over. The future hasn't happened. Ref think about it. Look to it. But don't focus on it. Focus on right here, right now. Because if there's one thing we know, human beings are only capable of doing one thing at a time. It doesn't matter what anyone says to you that they can do multiple things. They can't. We are designed to do only one thing at a time. And if you're constantly looking at this and this and this and this and this, what's gonna happen is you're not gonna get a clear picture. Your focus is going to diminish your energy and you won't actually get very much done. So this kind of brings me on to, to right, so steps that we can take. And this is incredibly important. So like I said, I have 25 years as a full-time professional artist. I've lived, I've lived this for 25 years. And 20 of those means that I have only had one job. And how have I done this? Well, I have done this because I've been able to remain active, physically and mentally. Every single day, I already know what to do. I am planning, I am working, I have a structure in place. I am essentially my own boss. I am the only one that can tell me what to do or what not to do. Sometimes I take days off and I don't do anything. That's fine. But what I also know is if I don't focus, my energy level goes down and I don't achieve anything. So my daily routine for the last 20 years and honestly hasn't changed that much despite COVID-19 happening. My day is very simple. I wake up, I do social media, I go for a run, or I go for a walk, or I do some exercise in my apartment or my house. I sit down, I have some lunch, I work out my work schedule, my music, my podcasts, my artwork that I'm doing, and then I maybe go for another walk, and then I have dinner, 
I'd do a bit of work and TV. In the weekends, I would then go and travel. I possibly would DJ, but that's not happening right now, so fair enough. But my, my work day is the same. It's completely structured. I know what I'm doing. And what that does is it gives me a sense of, okay, right, this is my plan for today. Time management is the most important thing right now. And you need to learn to manage your time in a way that's actually effective. Because right now, you have so much time on your hands. Use it. Do something with it. Do something positive. Do something that will help you when this whole situation is over. Because it's incredibly important right now, and I'm saying this to everyone here, I say this to myself as well. I've had certain things happen over the last couple of weeks. Um, restrictions have happened where I am. So I'm currently in, in Southeast Asia at the moment. I'm in Thailand. And what I've, what I've come to recognize, what I've come to, to understand, um, especially now, is focus on what you have, not on what you want. Not on what you don't have. So what I mean by that is, right now, I have this. Tomorrow, this has changed. This is gone. Okay, instead of getting angry and upset about the fact that this is gone, I am now accepting that, okay, what I had yesterday has changed. Now I have this. Fine. Is it ideal? No, it's not ideal. I ultimately want this. However, it's changed. So I don't have that. Okay, so let me do the best that I can with what I have. So you can't leave the house. You can't DJ. You can't meet your friends. You can't meet your family. You can't go to the museum. You can't go to the cinema. Great. Okay, well, what can you do? Except that's over. That's done. What can you do? Well, you can go on house party and you can do a live set. So you can do like what I'm doing now, a live stream. You can uh, work in the studio. You can uh, read a book. You can study. You can brush up on something that you haven't had the time to do before. Because you have to remember this, and this is super important. This will not last forever. This will change. Because nothing in the entire universe is without change. Everything has a timeline where it will change and become something new. And we have to remember this. So right now it feels like, oh God, this is terrible. This is, this is so bad. I'm really not happy with what's going on. That's fine. But we have to realize over time, that will change. And what we have to do to get, to get us from where we are now to when things will change is we need to have a structure in place. So you need to sit down and think about, okay, well, what can I do where I can build structure into my daily life? If you say, okay, well, I'm going to wake up at 9 a.m. every day, I'm going to have lunch at 12, and I'm going to have dinner at 8, and then I'm going to watch a Netflix movie at 8.30, and then I'll do a bit of work, and I'll go to bed at 11. Okay, so that's your basic outline for time structure. Then in between that, you can do whatever you do. So the majority of people watching right now are creatives, musicians, DJs, singers, songwriters. So use your skill set to fill in those blanks. Create a structure so that every day you wake up and you have something to do. Because if you don't, what will happen is you will start to feel fearful about the future. You will start to feel scared about what's happening because you're not doing anything. You went from doing so much to doing nothing in the span of a week, two weeks. All of a sudden your life is completely changed. Okay, that's fine. But what we can do is we can introduce something so we are still busy. So we still have something to do. And that right there is bringing in structure, day-to-day -day focus and structure. Because without it, trust me, as a self-employed, full-time DJ producer, I know what it's like to not do anything. It's terrible, absolutely terrible. So one of the things that I always do is I always remind myself of what I have. I remind myself that I have great friends. I remind myself that I have a career doing what I love. I remind myself I'm fit, I'm healthy. 
I remind myself I have an amazing family. I remind myself that, you know, I'm not sick. I remind myself that life is good. I'm thinking about the small things. I remind myself that this morning I had a great cup of coffee. The sunset was beautiful. I wasn't outside. That's fine. I can still see it. Focusing on the small things is equally as important as focusing on the big things. The big things for us have changed. We can't move around. We're quarantined. We're in isolation. We can't see our friends and family. Our livelihoods, our income has changed. Those are the big things in life. So I understand that's going to make you feel a bit not very good. However, life is not only the big things. Life is also small things. Life is also the tiny little details that we all miss. So one of the things that I do on a regular basis, I actually just sit down and I list 10 things that I'm grateful for, big and small. And I do this on a, you know, two, three times a week, just to remind myself to not forget about things that make me happy. It could be I had a Mars bar. It could be I saw a great movie last night. It could be the fact that I was out running and I had a really nice cold shower and it made me feel good. Because you need to shift your focus, you need to shift your mind from negative to positive. If you're constantly thinking about negative, if you're constantly thinking about the past, oh, I want it to be like that, well, what's going to happen is all you're going to see and feel is negative. That's, that's a given. If you shift your perspective and you start thinking about the good things you have in your life, thinking about the positive things that you have in your life, there are positives to being stuck indoors. There are positives to hopefully being, you know, being in a position where you can actually use this downtime to do something, learn something, build something for the future. And we need to learn to support others. That's the whole reason for this live stream is to simply give back to some of you out there who are not feeling particularly confident about what's going on. So maybe you can reach out and you can help someone. I know a lot of you are possibly already doing this, which is amazing. And that, this is what I like about social media right now, is there are so many people sharing and coming together. And I think that's beautiful. I think it's amazing. But don't forget this when this is over and done. Don't forget, people are still lonely. Even though they're in groups of people, they're still lonely after this whole virus thing has happened. So don't forget, life continues afterwards. So don't stop caring about others. Don't stop supporting others. Don't stop building our creative music industry because we need people to come together in times of crisis, but also in normal times, neutral times, peace times. So let's be good to each other on a constant basis, not just when things go wrong. And I'm gonna round this off by simply saying, one of the reasons right now that I am able to be relatively comfortable with what's happening around me is because I have, for the last three to four years, focused a lot and time, a lot of time and energy on creating something different to my physical DJ. So I'm fortunate I'm a music producer and I've been doing it for a very long time. And I realized four or five years ago, that I wanted to do something different. So I started doing my mindset sessions, that was one thing. And then I started doing sample packs and music production online, that was another thing. Then I did my record label, Get Down Recordings, and then I've done Get Down Samples. And what's happening now is that platform, the online platform, is what's saving me financially right now. Because my DJing is dead, I have no money coming in, What? So ever. I recognize that there is a limitation to being a DJ, that there is a limitation to physically going out there. I'm 45 years old. Do I want to DJ in five years when I'm 50? I don't know. Time will tell. But then what am I going to do? What is my purpose moving forward? And I realized one of my, one of my main purposes is to help other people. That's what this is. This is about giving back to you guys. This is about sharing some of the things that I've had 
with you. And this is going to help create a new line of business for me when I get older. Because I'm still young, by the way. I'm only 45. Anyway. And so use this time to sit down and think, okay, I can do this. This is, this is my main job. How can you take that and create something different with it? At any point, I have between five or six different income streams that are not related to DJing. But they are all related to creativity. They're related to the mindset sessions where I do my coaching, my one-to-one -one sessions. They're also related to my record label. They're also related to selling music and samples online, etc., etc. So it all comes back, it all circles back around to the things that I naturally am interested in. I'm a creative, but I'm not limiting myself to only being a DJ. So ask yourself, what else can you do? What else can you create that can provide you with some source of income in the future? Because rest assured, after this, the world will be different. It will not be the same. There will be a long-term backlash on travel. The music industry is going to suffer heavily. The creative industry is going to suffer. There are so many people I know whose businesses are going down. So many people are going to be left without a job, without money, without income. You don't need to be one of those people if you are smart now. If you start thinking right here, right now, today, what can I do in the future, given my skill set, given what I'm naturally interested in, how can I create something that will provide me another revenue stream when I get older? I love what I do, and I will never quit doing some kind of creative expression, whether it's DJing, it's music, it's helping people, it's graphic design, it's my label, it's sample packs, it's coaching, it's, it doesn't matter. I will never, ever stop. But you have to remember, I'm doing this because I'm smart, because I'm clever, and I can see that having one income stream, no, it's not a very good idea. So let me just kind of recap um, kind of what I've been talking about. So basically, what we're feeling right now is fear. It's fear of the unknown. It's fear of we're not quite sure what's happening. We, 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 we can't acknowledge the fact that our lives have changed from this to that. We simply don't accept the situation. And by learning to accept, it is what it is. We can't change it. Just as well as we know when it's sunshine, we can't make it rain even though we want to. When it's night, we know that we can't make it uh, light. We also need to accept that right now there's a virus and there's travel restrictions. We can't change it. Fine. Deal with it. Move on. Be logical. Don't react out of paranoia. Don't react out of fear. React from logical thinking. If the government says do this because it will save lives, do it. By all means, do it. And focus on the present, here and now, today. Don't think about the future. It hasn't happened. If you have a time machine, let me know. I'm interested. But I doubt you have. The past is done. It's over. It's finished. Yesterday is not coming back. Last week is over. Last month, last year, last decade is done. Focus on today. Focus on what you can do here and now. Stay active. Mentally, physically. Have a structure every single day. Do something. Because once you stop, your energy levels will go down and you will feel flat, heavy, deflated. You will not enjoy what's going on. Distract your mind by doing something positive. Doing something you enjoy. You might not be able to travel or work or do this, then fine, we'll do other things. Do cooking, do dancing, learn a new technique, uh, learn a new VST plugin, and focus on what you have, not what you don't have. What you don't have is gone, it's over, it's finished, you don't have it anymore. You might have had it yesterday, but now it's finished. So focus on what you have today. Be grateful for the small things here and now. Because it's the small things, if you put them together, 
they make lots of big things. Support each other. So many of you guys out there are doing amazing jobs by helping other people. And I think that's incredible. So keep doing it. But do it after all of this is done. Do it when the virus is over, when it's finished and we can go back to normal. Continue to support. Continue to reach out to people. Show some love. Show some passion. Let's grow the industry together. And paramount, super important, focus on what you can do to create a better future for yourself. Because this is not the last time something like this will happen. So you need to be prepared and you need to think about, okay, right, what can I do to change my situation? So anyway, um, that's me talking for 35 minutes. And thank you to everyone that's tuned in. Uh, this is all going to be saved and hopefully re-uploaded if I kind of know how to do this on Facebook. Um, I do uh, bi-monthly uh, bi podcasts on the Mindset Sessions. I also do uh, Thoughts and Life videos every three days on Instagram, just the Mindset Sessions. And I do little posts on a daily basis. Everything is designed to help you understand more about yourself. Because if you're like me and you love what you do, don't lose sight of it. Don't disconnect yourself from it. Because once you disconnect yourself from something that you truly love, your life will change. Not necessarily for the better. And I'm helping you, provide you with steps to constantly remember to look back at, ah, this is what I'm doing. This is why I love it. This is why it's important. So you don't lose track of who you are, what you want to achieve, and most importantly, to maintain the energy to get there. So thank you so much for tuning in and I really appreciate your time. And um, if any of you have any questions, you can hit me up on any of the platforms, uh, Kid Massive, Get Down Recordings or the, um, the Mindset Sessions. And uh, thank you so much. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, even though the weekend is technically exactly the same as Tuesday. So welcome to my life. For 25 years, my Sunday has been exactly like my Wednesday. No different. So stay safe and uh, yeah, you let me know if you have any questions.